What's up everybody, it's Ennis here. Before we get started today, I wanna to thank all of you for an amazing 2019, and I wanna wish everybody an incredible 2020. The property right behind me is 3251 Shelby Drive, located in Cheviot Hills, neighborhood of Los Angeles. Five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 6,700 square feet, with a three bedroom, two bath, 1,400 square feet guest house, listed for $6 million. Let's go take a look. So before we go into the property, I want to talk a little bit about the exterior. So house is nicely elevated from the street level, which gives you extra privacy and incredible views of the entire city. Also house has stucco finish and a wood cladding on the exterior. Then we have a driveway, which leads you to the main house and also carport to the guest house. Main house and the guest house have two different addresses. And we have the staircase right here, which leads you to the front door. What I like about this front door is the fact that it really blends in with this wood cladding they, they use on the outside of the home. What front door? I don't see it. Yeah, you don't see it unless you open it up. So we are at the entryway of this property. On my right hand side, we have the living room and the kitchen area, which leads us to the backyard. Then on the left hand side, we have a bedroom here. So let's go check it out. This bedroom is currently staged as an office. It's actually a pretty good size. You're it has a decent sized window here that gets a lot of natural light and it's actually quite private here. And I say a bedroom because it has a closet and it has its own bathroom. Floating vanity. I actually really like these uh, big slab tiles that they used on the floor. A lot of natural stone here. Nice shower head, pretty much a good bathroom. Now let's go check out the living room and the kitchen area. Got out of this bedroom and now I'm going towards the living room area and as you guys can see these oversized glass windows are bringing all this natural light in not just to the living room but to the rest of the house and we have a really good space here your gas fireplace it's actually really really spacious and as you guys can see there's a really big size couch here but the space still feels very free and open so living room flows into your dining room area and before we start how amazing this light fixture is. It's super cool, modern, sleek. It's kind of a simple design, goes with the modern lines of this house, which I like. And a good architect and a good staging company will warm up a modern house with organic finishes, with wood veneer, and this table looks incredible. Yeah, that edge is, uh, is pretty cool here. What would you call that? Uh, is that a bevel? No, it's not a bevel. They call it like a live edge, I believe because it's organic to the tree, although they sanded and smoothed it a little bit. It's organic to the slab, sorry. And more light, there's actually glass right above us that is super private, that even brings more natural light to the space. And actually this, as I toured this property, one detail that I really like is how wide the hallways are and the staircases are, which is a nice touch. And if you come over here, Mikey, why don't we show them? So you have an iPad system here that can control your pool, and then security cameras, lights, everything can be controlled. Is this thermostat also? It's not actually, that's on a Nest system. So right here, they're currently storing some stuff, but this is actually storage right underneath the staircase, which is good use of space right there. Yeah. And now let's go talk about this kitchen. It's gonna take us a little while because it's actually a really good size. Wait, so which one is the living room? Is, well, this, is this the living room? There's two living rooms. Or is this the living room? Well, this is my favorite living room. The reason being is it's right off the kitchen. This is where people are gonna hang out. And this is a kitchen that you really would like to hang out because it has a bar seating. Although there's four chairs there, I wanna say you can at least accommodate eight chairs possibly. Huge island, quartz countertops here, your sub-zero fridge, of course. 
and then your built-in appliances are right here. Your microwave is actually tucked in on the island, which I'll get in a minute. Same quartz countertops are also on this side of the base cabinets. They've also put that as a backsplash. And you have your Wolf six burner gas stove top right here. Your commercial vent, because you're gonna cook a lot of stuff here. And I really like the island because it's a really generous size. Your microwave is tucked in right here. You have two sinks, one on the island, that's your main sink and you have one on this side. And this is also where you have your dishwasher, AKA you have two dishwashers, one on the island, one on this side. Mm -hmm. Your pantry space and- Don't sleep on the wine rack though. Yeah. And it's actually temperature controlled actually, Mike. If you pan up right there, that's your refrigeration system for your wine cellar. Feels good in here. It does. And let me flow you guys straight from the kitchen area. As I mentioned, nice oversized hallway here and it goes into the living room area. I like this living room area more because the first one we toured is more of a formal living room area and this is where you really would hang out because it's off the kitchen, looks to the backyard, it's kind of more tucked into the property so it's a little bit more private area. Also staging companies rarely do this but this is more like your TV room here it seems like. This exactly. is like a nice center place for your TV versus over there was kind of like your fireplace. Uh, yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, they even put the TV console kind of right here. You can either put your TV on top or mount it to the wall. All right, so we have two hallways here, one behind Ennis and one behind me. Where do these go? This one actually goes outside in case you park your car on the driveway and you want to walk into the property. But this one I want to show. Actually, this one also has a stairs that's going up to the second floor. But on this side, we have another bedroom with its own bathroom. Why don't we walk in? Lights should turn on. And as expected, lights turned on. It's really similar to the other bedroom's bathroom that we just toured. On point, good size walk-in shower, your floating vanity. You know, these are mostly your guest bedrooms or your kids' bedroom, but it's actually a good size. And you get a lot of natural light from these oversized windows again. And you have your walk-in closet right there. So that was it for the second bedroom on this floor. Now we're walking back towards the living room area. And I kind of want to reestablish where we were again. We have that hallway over there, which allows you to access to the carport area. And we have this wide staircase that takes you to the second floor. Hold on, let me show the people. Why don't you come around here? And when I say wide, I mean it. Yeah, you could, you could, you could drive a truck down that. <laughs> exactly. And I want, to, I want to talk about this a little bit developers tend to find ways to cheat on their property. And what I mean by that is they want to maximize the usage of their property and cut on the places that most people won't look. And I always run into staircases that are very narrow, not in this case. This is actually double the size of a regular staircase going up. There's something about white staircases that makes you feel grand. And I actually really like white staircases. So I'm really happy that this is the direction they went with, you know, to go up to second floor. So one more detail. In the heart of this living room, they have four skylights that are bringing all this natural light to the living room. You can actually see those skylights from the roof deck and we'll probably get that once we go upstairs. And y'all stick around for the roof deck. It is a good one. It's incredible. So flowing towards the backyard, we have these sliding pocket doors. California is all about indoor outdoor living and these sliding pocket doors just open up and tug away. Now let's go check out the backyard. So we have a nice finished decking out here. And if you actually walk around the space, it's a really good sized backyard. And we have a good size outdoor shower right here, which is really, really cool. And decking continues. You can actually see the waterfall edge of the pool right here. It's like a nice feature. They currently stage this area as a little dining room area. And one thing I want to mention is we get comments all the time. People see outdoor furniture and they always ask what would happen if it rains. As well, you can see, it just it, rained. Exactly, and everything is fine. Most of the outdoor furniture that staging companies use are waterproof, so everything is fine. Of course, backyard, you gotta have a built-in gas barbecue right here, to the point with your countertop. And this is the cool factor of this home. Why don't you guys come with me? So instead of an in-ground pool, they actually did an above-ground pool here. 
I think partially reason for that is they wanted to create the two separate areas. So you have your backyard space right there and your pool area. And since they have elevated this section, you actually get a little bit more decking right here. Some of the retaining walls, you have lush greenery right there. And I really like this pool. I'm a simple pool kind of guy. The fact that they just went with a simple plaster with the infinity edge right there looking towards your living room. It's a really, really cool feature. Of course, you have a jacuzzi within the pool, and this is actually a really nice place to just lay down, hang out, and relax. So Ennis brushed over this real quick, but as you can see, there's a little housing right here for you to put a projector in, which will shine over on this wall, so you can actually be hanging out in this pool and watching whatever you want. Imagine it's like a Super Bowl party, yeah. any sporting event over here. It would be super cool, and that's a really nice thought. And by the way, guys, the, the building that, uh, the house that Mikey just pointed out is actually the guest house, which we're going there next. But that's how you think your decisions really well and utilize the wall of that guest house and make it a feature. Yeah, well, this is like a something, a uh, feature that we haven't, I don't think we've ever seen I don't in a think house, so like an outdoor projector screen. You know, some of the like, extreme price point there's some of the extreme mansions up in the hills will have those big pools that are those big screens big that come screens out that pool. pop up but we're talking about 30 plus million dollars yeah know? exactly at this price point i don't think i've ever seen seen someone consider that no it's it's a really cool feature definitely now let's go check out the guest house So we just finished touring the backyard area and backyard area leads into your carport and you can easily park two cars right here. So the door right here is actually your access to your property once you park your car. Same carport actually goes into your driveway right there which has a nice gate for your privacy and this is where you access your guest house. Guest house also has a carport area right here. You can probably park two more cars right here and additional cars on that driveway. Now we're at the guest house, so let's go check it out. So it's a two-story guest house. And on the first level, we have a room right here. It can be used as a gym, storage, or even an additional bedroom. It's really up to the owner. And now let's go check out the upstairs. So we're on the second level now. And calling this a guest house doesn't do the justice because it's a house on its own. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is basically a three bedroom, two bath, 1400 square feet guest house that is totally detached, right? So we have one bathroom right here. Mikey, why don't we show them? Good size, floating vanity. A lot of skylights over here too. Walk, yeah, walking shower, skylights. There's skylights in the living room, even in the bathrooms. Cool little detail. I'm glad they made, they thought about this. Washer and dryer because again, this is a house on its own that it can easily function. What are these, these are called ADUs? ADUs, okay. accessory dwelling unit. Okay. So, I mean, you know, we keep mentioning that this is a guest house, but this could have easily been a regular house in LA. You have your dishwasher, your gas stove, nice countertop. This is actually a really cool detail. You have your waterfall edge and you have a bar seating right here that has a different finish. And this guest house also has a little bit of a backyard area, which is really cool. You have a turf section right here and you have a flat pad right here with a concrete finish and your pool equipment in case you need to access for service. We should have just done a uh, video on this little ADU alone. Yeah, it could have been two videos. Again, for the price of one, you get two houses. So we have the first bedroom right here. This one actually has a slider that opens up to that backyard. Good size, this is actually a king size bed and it's a really spacious room. Again, I'm having a hard time calling this a guest house. Walk-in closet yeah. and its own full bathroom. This one actually has a tub. Mikey, why don't you come over here? So you can show uh, the people. A tub? Okay. Yeah. So we have an awesome skylight, a bunch of natural light, big tub with uh, some nice marble. There you go. So let's go check out the bedroom number two. So bedroom number two doesn't have a bathroom. That first bathroom that we just toured serves the living room area and this bedroom as well. Good size. And actually this one gets a little bit of a view. Mikey, why don't we show them right there? 
So that's pretty much it for the guest house. I know it's getting a little bit confusing. We are not in the main house anymore, so we're gonna go back to the first floor of the main house so we can go upstairs to check out the bedroom. Back on the main house, first floor, wide staircases going up to the second floor. In this level, we have three bedrooms. So I'm gonna take right and start with the first one. So it's a good sized bedroom. Cool detail about this one, has a balcony. Besides a walk-in closet and access to the rooftop patio, it actually has its own balcony. Check it out. So come on out. And the view right here is pretty amazing. So the day, uh, same decking that they used throughout the property, they've also used it on right here, your glass railing. So this bedroom and also the master bedroom has a balcony. So you can enjoy this amazing view. So let's go back into the house and go check out the master bedroom. And this is the master bedroom. Check this out. Quite spacious here, as you guys can see. And I wanna talk about a couple details. First of all, I really like the way they position the bed because it really captures the view, gives you the privacy that you need, and then you can easily position a TV or whatever setup you wanna have right here. It's actually a really good size room. They have pocket doors that seals the closet in the bathroom, which we'll get in a minute. Let's get some air in here. Why don't you open exactly. up those pockets? Let's pocket these doors and as you all can see it's a beautiful sunny day in los angeles we've been getting a lot of rain lately we got some rain last night and they don't just stack they pocket all the way which is a nice detail same decking is also on this balcony just like the other bedroom ah oh, what a great day i mean it's really nice out here and i don't know if mikey can show it with his camera but you can see spot on downtown it's not going to come out but downtown is right over here guys it's a little hazy still, it's a little humid still from the rain, so it's kind of hard to see downtown today. And another detail that I want to mention, I like bedrooms that have balconies in front of the bedroom because that actually gives a lot of privacy. If someone wants to look to this bedroom from the street level, this balcony is actually serves as a barrier for their privacy. So they can leave these windows open all the time and no one will still be able to see inside. Back into the bedroom again. I'm going to flow you guys into the closet and the bathroom area. I mean, this is very spacious here, but you have your toilet set up right there with a little room. I'll show the people. There you go. We got a little toilet here. You have your walk-in shower right here with a body spray and a rain head. Pretty big shower, I like that bench they have too. You know what I like? They put an extra ventilation right there in case it gets too steamy. You know, so you can pull out all the moisture. Well, it's a steam shower also. As you can see, there's a little, uh, a little uh, thing over there on the side. So you turn on your steam when you want to get rid of it. You just pop on your vent. It'll suck it all out. That's right. You have your waterfall edge. This countertop is actually pretty big. Dual sinks. This is not floating vanity, but they've kind of used the same wood veneer that I have used on the kitchen countertops. This is, this is like a really uh, interesting kind of bathroom vanity. I, don't, I feel like we don't usually see waterfall edges. You don't. In a bathroom, right? You don't. And for, well, most of the time, the vanities that we see in bathrooms are floating. And when there's a floating vanity, the waterfall edge kind of doesn't really make sense. So you're absolutely right, but they did it and it works. We have a skylight bringing natural light. And Michael, let's point out this detail right here. So I see a lot of times developers just dropping the tub right onto the flooring of the bathroom, but I also see a lot of developers uh, do these raised flooring where they situated the tub. This kind of gives dimension to the bathroom. It really distinguishes the area for the tub and your walkway and your vanity. So I really like that. This is actually, I want to say, might be the biggest freestanding tub I've ever seen. Going into the closet, or as I should say, going into this clothing store, because, I mean, Racks after racks after racks. Racks, racks on racks on racks. There is. I mean, you have a nice, I like these island designs on the closets because a lot of people have jewelries, little things, wallets, ties. And I feel like most of the closets don't address 
uh, those kind of items, you know, they don't do spaces to put that kind of accessories. Islands are great for that. We have uh, drawers right there. And then they haven't put the glass doors yet, but glass paneling, right? they haven't put the glass panels yet. Yeah, but this is basically a wardrobe display. And right behind Mikey, I want to mention, is a huge mirror. How appropriate is that? Very appropriate. Yeah, because you dress up, you want to look to yourself and this is where you do it. Mm -hmm. So there's an additional bonus room right here off of the closet. You know, there's a lot that can be done with this room, makeup area, additional closet. Some people have a lot of clothes in LA, so they would love to have this extra space, more closet. You got a big window here you can open up. Yep. Maybe, have, actually, maybe even have a cigar room if that's your thing. Yep, and it actually looks down to your pool area. I wanna keep going this direction because there's a little hallway here. First, you have your washer, dryer, utility room area. It's convenient off of your master closet, literally. It's a couple steps. So talking about convenience, then we have a staircase from the first floor coming up here because there's actually a bedroom here with its own bathroom and walk-in closet, totally separate from the other two bedrooms, which is master bedroom and the first bedroom we just toured. Same kind of bathroom design, floating vanity, terrazzo looking tile floors, and the walk-in closet for this bedroom is right here. It's a really good size. So if you want to have a guest over, you want to leave them at their privacy, they can come up from the first floor using that staircase to this bedroom without really bothering the rest of the bedroom. And of course, this bedroom also has an access door to the rooftop, which we're going next. So, coming up to this roof deck, the views are unbelievable. They use the same decking that they use throughout the entire property out here as well. Glass railing to maximize the view. And it's just an incredible space. You feel like you're on top of the world. A nice detail is a gas fire pit. They've actually used the same stucco finish. It's actually a really good size here. This is where you gather around, where the seating is. And if I continue this way, you have a little astro turf area in case you want to lay down and just relax. Yeah, put a little putting green out here, do something. Do something. You have your speakers lighting up here so at night you can easily entertain. And even during the day, the view is just unbelievable. Mikey, why don't we just show them? We have all the Hollywood Hills on that side. Then we have downtown LA. And if you actually come all the way right here, we have Baldwin Hills. So you can kind of see the entire city from up here. Very private. And most of the homes around you don't have rooftops, so you're very, very private up here. And that's pretty much it. This is our last video for 2019. I wanna thank all the viewers for their support and subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate that. We try to engage with you guys as much as possible. I also wanna thank the listing agent, Lacey Buller, for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. And with that said, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions, drop us a comment. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next year.